I just got back from this great long walk, and yes, I'm wearing the coat. I was thinking, you know, anytime I go out with it, I'm showing it off. Even if I'm not intending to, like, show it off, I'm showing it off. Anytime I wear it, right now I'm showing it off. It's great, I love this coat. Um, anyway, I went on this epic walk, and what's funny is before I went on this walk, I was feeling pensive. I've got some stuff going on, right? I'm kind of working through right now. And, um... I thought, I said out loud, well, time to go for a walk that I'll get back from and not feel any different. And I remember thinking, that's uncharacteristically pessimistic of me. But hey, that's what goes along with feeling pensive. So I went on this walk and listened to uh, music and walked and walked and walked. And um, I came up with a whole lot of really hard questions and uh, a lot of really interesting answers. But one of the things before I left for this walk, I was seeing this video, Christopher Hitchens, uh, who normally I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, except for the fact that we have such similar beliefs in disbeliefs. But usually I feel like he's not the constructive type of, of intellectual. I always thought he was more destructive than anything, so. Uh, but I was impressed. He was talking he was at this debate about whether or not the Catholic Church does the world good. And they had four people, two on each side. Christopher Hitchens was one of them. And to wrap up his, his first speech, he was talking about the death of the Pope. And he says, you know, he prefaces it by saying, I don't wish, wish harm on anyone, but inevitably, and I'll, I'll wrote it down, he said, when he dies, there's quite a long interval till the conclave can meet, and for that whole time, that whole interval, it's a delicious, lucid intermute. There isn't anyone on earth who claims to be infallible. Isn't that nice? All I want to propose in closing is this. If the human species is to rise to the full height that's demanded by its dignity and by its intelligence, we must all of us move to a state of affairs where that condition is permanent. And that got me thinking about the whole idea of infallibility and the human desire for perfection. And that's, I shouldn't be so surprised that so many people are really attached to the idea of religion and God and perfection. Um, while most religious people are the first to say that they are not perfect, their idea of perfect is still sort of a shared belief that perfect exists and infallible exists in God form and with the Pope in human form. And I shouldn't, it occurred to me, I shouldn't, ha, I shouldn't be so surprised at how many people are religious because that is the very essence of human consciousness. Well, one of the many essences of human consciousness is the concept of perfect. You know, I don't think Momo considers perfectness or, you know, frogs. But human consciousness uh, strives for perfection. And um, so, of course, or even just, the, even just employing the concept of, of perfect existing at all, even in this huge universe that just keep expanding or whatever it's doing. And, uh, you know, there are things disintegrating in the universe and nothing's exactly perfect unless in its perfection it's chaos which I guess is the next step because I can buy chaos anyway woof it's a Saturday afternoon I've got to stop <laughs> anyway it got me thinking the whole idea of perfection and all that good stuff woof. I'm exhausted I'm gonna take a nap with Momo Probably not. He's been at the heater, though, like an addict, like a junkie. So I sleep alone until he wakes me up by headbutting my face. I have a red chin when I wake up in the morning. I should videotape it. It's cute. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me on that little ride. I'll talk to you later.